Hello everyone, it's another with K-pop oracles and I'm bringing you another K-pop tarot reading and uh, today's reading is going to be about Blackpink's Jenny and BTS's V. This is a little energy check reading or connection reading, not, not a ship reading, okay? So we're just going to be pulling some cards, see what this connection is all about and um, we'll, we'll, we'll look into future energies, okay? So let's get started. So I have here some fortune tea leaf cards. So let's see what the overall message or energy is. Love? Oh dear. Okay. Um, I mean, this can mean a few things. <laughs> so it can mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, literally, it can mean. Uh, I guess they have a lot of love for one another. It could be platonic love, however you want to interpret it. Okay. Oops, what is this connection like? We got judgment. Let me pull two more cards, okay? And then we'll get into the message. Okay, we got deaf. Okay, we got the hermit. All right, so, okay, judgment, death, and hermit. What I'm getting from this, um, from from these cards, is that perhaps, um, I feel like they've known each other for a while. Okay, so I feel like perhaps. They've, yeah, they were maybe they, yeah, they've known each other for a while, and then they took a pause in the connection, and then they just recently they've reconnected or rekindled whatever connection that they have because, um, yeah, the death here tells me yeah there was might might have been a pause or a hiatus, and they were just going out doing their own thing with the hermit card here, and then now we just basically there's a sense of renewal with the judgment card. We got the devil here. Oh, um, very naughty card. Okay, naughty, naughty, naughty. I mean, <laughs> the, the devil card can have some, I guess some negative connotations or just, I mean, it can, it can mean like addictions or obsessions. I don't know, maybe they're just like, uh, they're just obsessed, I don't know, like with each other or their company or being around each other. I don't know, just the idea of coming together, perhaps. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Hey, Mingo. We got the sun here. Okay, overall vibe right now is that they're happy. This connection brings them joy. This, this connection is, um, they're just content with what they have. Like, I just, I don't, they feel good around each other. Like, I feel like they brighten up each other's days. Hey, no baby. We got the three of swords. Three of Swords, yeah, I mean, it could be, I mean, the Three of Swords is a rather dramatic card. It can mean just people, you know, who try to sabotage this connection or try to get involved in this connection and, like, do something, I don't know, to, like, make things unpleasant for, for them. Okay. We got the Eight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, which tells me, um, I, I, I have a great sense there is a connection there. It's just like they don't, maybe perhaps they, um, maybe, or just not sure how to pres like really let people know that there there is a connection or like they feel stuck. Like they don't, um, they're not sure how to present it to the world, I feel, or they just, they just try to like keep things to themselves. We have 
trust. Yeah, there's a lot of trust in there. I feel like they have a lot of this. Like I feel like they have a lot of deep, honest, con like conversations with one another. Like this is a connection that's very strong, where there's a lot of trust, a lot of honesty. Like being upfront about a lot of things. Oh shoot! Too many cards. Too many cards. Fell. Discernment. Discernment. It's saying you're developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Yeah, I, I just perhaps this this could mean that okay, maybe people have like some sort of idea about their connection and then um they're trying to I feel like they're trying to find a way to speak their truth or trying to like let people know like this is what's really happening, y'all. Trust us. dragonfly dragonfly it says have confidence during this time of great joy renewal and connection to spirit so i mean it's it's some somewhat similar to the sun card where this um this connection that they have it's it's very sunny it's very bright it's a lot of joy uh, there's a sense of renewal in this connection so like i said earlier i feel like they've known each other for a while and there was a like you know, there was a pause or a break in the connection, and now they're like, okay, rekindling this this little this thing. It feels like a meaning of two great minds right now, like a strong spiritual connection. Hey. Cracker. We have cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Yes, I think. Wow, this is a very um this connection is just so there's a lot going on in here right like i feel like it's just like an explosion of of positivity like the, there's a lot of feel good moments between them and um a lot of love a lot of joy i feel like they really bring out the best in one another okay um shall we talk about the future okay let's talk about the future let's pull one of these tea leaf cards what is the main energy or message? Happiness. Okay, so one can expect this connection to continue being happy. Or one that, a happy one where, yeah, both parties are, are um, feel good around, like, around each other, that they're, good, they, they're happy. <laughs> There's no major drama. Major drama between them, so I just want to clarify that. We got the Ace of Wands. This tells me, okay, this is a card of new beginnings, creativity. So this tells me perhaps in the future they'll work together, something creative. It could be fashion, it could be music, something related to the arts. We have the Seven of Swords. Uh, Seven of Swords is all about hiding or just not revealing a whole lot. So I feel like they'll, they'll be very tight lip. Um, or, or, or just being very selective about who they um, trust or let into their lives. So I think they're going to be very cautious um, and just being very careful about who they trust. Like keeping things in mystery a little bit. Perhaps they're get, there's, this, there's a feeling of distress right now or just kind of like, um, you know, who's there for me? Who's going to support me, you know, in the future? That sort of deal. Hey, what's the future of V and Jenny's connection? We got the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this is very sweet, loving energy, very nurturing. I feel like there's, there's gonna be like a really 
this bond will grow into a really deep emotional connection. I feel like they'll just be there to support one another, really go to each other when they have, you know, like if someone has problems, like they'll go to the other person or feel comfortable going to the other person for things and have each other's back. I also, yeah, so, or be that shoulder to cry on. We got the Empress. The Empress. I mean, the Empress can mean. It, it, it could, uh, I mean, it's like motherly, like love. It almost feels motherly. So, um, yeah, like a deep emotional bond. But I also feel like perhaps the Empress can relate to ha like home life. So, I don't know, perhaps having a lot of like time together or going to each other's home for you know things uh probably spending a lot of time maybe helping each other with interior design that sort of deal or beautifying the home you know like doing like martha stewart-esque activities that's what i'm getting two of pentacles i think um, I, th I think of like, okay, both parties will definitely continue to get really, really busy, busy, but, um, so it may be hard to find a balance at times or really make time for one another. So that's something, that's an issue they may run into in the future is just finding a little work-life balance, finding some alone time, but it, I don't think the connection is going anywhere. We got three of pentacles, which is all about working together, building a foundation. So I think they're going to be working on some projects together. I feel like I feel like they, they make a great duel or make a great team. And we got the devil popping up again, which is, again, a very a card that has very like a little naughty meaning, you know, like addictions, obsession, that sort of deal. So, uh, yeah. Honesty, honesty, I think, yeah, I feel like this connection will grow to be deeper where there's just like, they get really real, really raw with each other, you know, like really, like they get, they'll go into like, they'll be like one of those people that really just have this long philosophical conversations, you know, talk about the meaning of life. That <laughs> like they can be themselves around each other. Success, yeah. We can expect this connection to be to be a, a solid one, a, a successful one. I don't think it's going anywhere. Mango, you so what? Body. Body, body, body. Yeah. So it says, show me divine how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. So I I think, I think they'll be like really accepting of one another and try, like really, yeah, just be happy, I guess, with what they have and, or just not really judge one another. So I feel like they'll, uh, there'll be a level, a, a great deal of acceptance and love in this connection. Like not judging each other's looks, just, be, you know, really embracing what they have. Perfectionism. Perfectionism. Okay, so that's an issue they may run into. It's just, I don't know, perhaps some, maybe one or both of them are really obsessed with the idea of 
don't know, like perfectionism. So I think they'll they'll learn to kind of work to address these issues together. Like realize that no one's perfect. It's it's yeah. <laughs> No one is uh, foolproof or flawless being. We, we, we all have some, they'll learn to embrace their flaws, I feel. That's, a, that's what I'm getting. Or each other's flaws. What else? Pull some tea leaf cards. Elephant. Elephant. This is a long journey, either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end. So this gives me like the hermit tarot card vibes I think uh, this is a, like a, I feel like they're meant to come together in this lifetime learn from each other and really grow we have casket we have casket so it says someone going out of your life or the end of a situation so um, uh, I mean this is like the death card in tarot so it could be like there may be some moments of like little breaks or hiatus in the connection or it could mean people trying to sabotage the connection or try to put an end to what they have. Okay, let's pull like three more cards. We have fair man. Okay, fair man and we have weeping willow. We have goldfish. Okay, I actually pulled more than three cards tent valley so valley which says deep personal strength and peace that assures success so i again i i get the sense that this is um it's gonna be like one of those deep meaningful connections and we have goldfish which is all about wealth and spiritual growth so i feel they'll really help each other in their careers really help each other grow and find more even more financial success and stability weeping willow which is says family sorrow i um perhaps they may they may experience some sad moments together maybe family related so that could be a possible roadblock in the future and then fair man um dealings or a relationship with the man with blonde gray or white hair so something about this fair man that may come into the connection and play a role in the future we have a tent here which is a temporary situation so um so I th it's gonna be like one of those on and off type of connections like there's I'm gonna come together and then take a break and then come back when the time is right or it can mean that this this connection uh, yeah, so that's what I'm getting. <laughs> um, I'm a little having a little brain farts. But anyway, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and su subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at Kpop Oracles one And I'm on Patreon. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.